The 2019 Ford Super Duty Limited. Hi, I'm Tim Bartz, Internet Sales Manager here at Law MacArthur Ford in Salina, Kansas. In this video, we're going to go over all the standard equipment that you can get on that limited uh, trim of the 2019 Ford Super Duty. So it's going to be a very thorough video. We'll go over all the standard equipment because so many of these uh, uh, features on this vehicle aren't even optional. They're almost everything is standard. There are a few optional packages that are available, uh, like the heavy duty trailer tow package, the fifth wheel prep package, and some of those. I do actually cover those in a, a separate video. It's called the optional equipment for the 2019 Ford Super Duty. Uh, I will reference it down in the description down below as well as at the end of this video if you're watching on YouTube. If you happen to be watching this video on our, on our website, uh, it, it will be also at the bottom of this, uh, this video library page. So uh, do check it out there. It goes over the different optional equipment that you can get along with those different, those different packages on top of this uh, as well. But we're going to just cover the standard equipment because there aren't a lot of things that are optional, but I will mention anything, any other configurations or anything like that that are possible in a way of the different axles. We're going to cover that as well. So let's go ahead and get started and cover some of these features on this 2019 Ford Super Duty Limited. Now, as we talk about the Super Duty, we're talking about that F-250, which is only available in your single rear wheel. Also talking about your F-350, available in either a single or your dually, and then your F-450 dually. So that is uh, the vehicles that we're going to be talking about in this video. Now, on the Limited, it's only available in your crew cab, uh, cab configuration like you're seeing with this one. Uh, so, but in your single rear wheels, those uh, F-250s and F-350s, it is available with two different bed lengths, either a six and three quarter foot bed or your eight foot bed. We'll call that the short bed and your long bed. And your dually is, of course, only available in that eight foot bed. So that's the configuration for you. Also, these are only available in four wheel drive with your limited, not available in two wheel drive. Also, the engine that's gonna be standard on all of your limiteds, the only engine available is the 6.7 liter V8 Power Stroke diesel engine. So that engine is gonna deliver 450 horsepower, 935 pound feet of torque. So lots of power behind that. That's why it's gonna be have the best towing of any other vehicle in its class when it's equipped right. So, uh, so that's kind of a little bit of information on the cab configurations and the engine. Let's talk about your fuel tank. Two different fuel tanks that are gonna be on this. Uh, you're gonna have a 34 gallon fuel tank for your short bed, and you're gonna have a 48 gallon fuel tank for your long bed. So different, uh, depends on uh, what you have there, and that's what kind of fuel tanks you're gonna get. Now let's talk about your axles that are gonna be available on these. The standard axle on your F-250 and F-350 single rear wheel is a non-limited slip 355 rear axle. So that is gonna be standard on all, all of your vehicles. Also for your F-450 is uh, dually, it's gonna come standard in a, not a limited slip 430 rear axle, and then your F-350 dually is gonna also be a non-limited slip 355 rear axle too, so you're gonna have that. But you do have options for you. Now, you don't have an optional axle for your F-450, it is only available in that limited slip 430, but your duallys can get a limited slip 355 rear axle as well, and then your single rear wheels, your F-250s and F-350s, are available in a electronic locking 355 rear axle, just like we put on this particular truck right here. So those are your options for your axles and your cabs. Let's go ahead now, we're gonna walk around the vehicle. I'm gonna go over all the standard equipment that's on the exterior of the vehicle, starting here at the front. Now, first I wanna talk about some safety features that are standard equipment on really pretty much all your Super Duties, but I like to cover them even on the Limited as well. Now, you're gonna have a, a great safety system in this. You're gonna have for airbags, a dual stage front airbag up here for the driver. It's gonna deploy a different size airbag, depends on how close you are to the steering wheel. Also, you're gonna have an airbag up there for the front passenger too. You're also gonna get side impact airbags for the driver and front passenger. It's gonna protect from those side collisions, and it's gonna deploy that airbag from that seat side. Also, you're gonna have the safety canopy airbag that's gonna deploy down over those uh, windows. Uh, see that in a lot of other vehicles to help protect from those uh, side collisions as well as any rollovers. Let's talk about rollovers for a second. This does have advanced track with roll stability control. So the whole goal behind advanced track is to keep you on your intended path. Comes in real handy in those slick driving roads. Also, if you go into those curves, maybe a little bit too fast, the adaptive, uh, the uh, advanced track will help you keep you on your intended path. So I love that feature as well. This will have SOS post crash alert system. So if you happen to be off the road, it'll honk the horns, flash the lights so people know you're there. And it also does have 911 assist that uses the Microsoft Sync technology, Bluetooth your phone, and you call 911 directly instead of using some uh, third party 
provider uh, that some of the other manufacturers use. So I think that's uh, some great safety features on this vehicle. Now let's talk about styling a little bit. Up on the roof, you are on your all your dualies, F-350 and F-450, you're gonna have a standard equipment, those LED clearance roof lights. Uh, some people call them the, uh, those marker lights up there. So those are gonna be standard equipment. They are optional on your single rear wheels. So F-250 and F-350, uh, you can order them as an optional equipment, so keep that in mind. Now here on the hood, you're going to see the Super Duty etched in there, and I, I kind of mentioned that, it's standard equipment even on your XL, but I uh, just love the look of that. You do have a unique satin chrome grill up here. Now the Platinum does have a satin chrome grill. Uh, this one is going to be a unique style of satin finish. So I love the two bar grill up here with the uh, little inserts here. You have three chrome bars above and three below that kind of give that, uh, that front grill a nice impact there. Body colored bumpers on this with the uh, black molded in on the top. Chrome tow hooks are going to be standard equipment on these as well. You're going to have some great lighting on this. You've got LED fog lights here. So LEDs are so much brighter, they're going to last longer as well. You also get LED quad beam headlights up here. So quad beam is a great feature to have. Uh, there is a quad beam on the others, but they're not LEDs. The LEDs, again, are going to be so much brighter for you. Love the LED that kind of goes around here. Just looks real sharp on the vehicle that I think you really like. Also, with this, you're going to have the automatic headlights. So uh, with, in the auto setting, it'll come on automatically as it gets dark, turn off when it gets light out. Also, the rain lamp uh, feature for it, too. So if you have the wipers on, they're going to come on automatically as well. So. Also, it's going to come with auto high beams, the standard equipment on your Limited. So auto high beams work a lot like your automatic headlights. It turns those high beams on. There's no one in front of you. It's dark. Uh, if you're in the city's lights or someone approaches you, it's going to automatically turn, uh, flip those off. And that is a feature you can deactivate in your settings screen if that's something you don't like on. Uh, if you want to just do the high beams on your own, you can do it that way as well. Also, you're going to get rain sensing wipers, standard equipment on their limiteds too. Uh, just like it sounds, if it starts to rain, if you have it on in one of those intermittent settings, it's going to automatically turn the wiper on. As it rains a little harder, it's going to turn those wipers on a little bit faster. So you'll have that feature too. And then uh, last one I want to talk about before we move around to the side is your adaptive steering. Adaptive steering is standard equipment on this. It is optional on some of the other trims. Uh, what's great about adaptive steering, the best way I can uh, really describe it is it really helps you out, depends and adapts your steering, depends on the speed that you're going. So if you're going on the highway a little bit faster, it's gonna stiffen up that steering wheel so that way that wind doesn't push you from the side to side. But in the parking lots, it's gonna make it a little bit easier for you to turn the steering wheel getting into those parking spaces. Next, I want to talk about some great technologies that are going to be standard equipment on all your limiteds. A lot of these features are usually optional on your other trims, um, but are going to be standard on your limited. So the first one to talk about is your pre-collision assist. So that, what's great about that is it's going to go ahead and sense if there's a vehicle going much slower than you and you're not hitting your brake, it's going to alert you. It's going to have a pre-collision assist that's going to go ahead and turn these uh, lights. It's going to put the flashy lights on your dash and it's going to give you a series of tones that the vehicle in front of you is not stopped and you need to hit your brakes and even initiate some brake support to go along with that. So great safety feature uh, on this vehicle. Also. It does have adaptive cruise control. Now, adaptive cruise control, when you have that cruise set, you can adjust the gap on how soon you want the sensitivity of the vehicle in front of you to slow you down, because what it's going to do is as you approach somebody, and with that gap set, it's going to go ahead and sense that. It's going to slow you down to go to the uh, speed of the vehicle in front of you until either they resume or you pass them and it's safe to resume. Then it's going to go ahead and put that back. So you don't have to use your brakes so much. Uh, and also just a great accident avoidance uh, sensor sensitivity as well. So uh, I love how that works. Also, this does have your lane keeping system. So uh, what's really great about it, it's going to have the driver alert. So if you take your hands out the steering wheel, you're not paying attention, it's going to keep and alert you and let you know that you're doing that. Also, if you have happen to, uh, if you're getting too close to your lane and you exit your lane, you're going to get alerted with that as well. So it's going to vibrate that steering wheel and let you know that you're, you're leaving your lane and so that that way you can go ahead and stay in your lane. So that's a great system. Now it is, does not have the aid system that some of the other vehicles have on the Super Duty, so it doesn't have that, that availability for that, that technology. So it won't help keep you or bounce you in your lane. Uh, that is the only thing we'll be missing from this lane keeping system. Now also as part of this uh, feature, or one of the features that's great on this, is the Bliss system. That's that Bliss is a blind spot information system with cross traffic alert. Let me uh, tell you how that works. If there's someone in your blind spot, it's gonna put a light in the corner of your mirror and let you know it's not safe to go in that lane at that time. Also as you're backing up, 
if someone's crossing your path behind you, it's going to alert you with the light and the mirror on the side they're coming from, puts a message on the dash, and a series of tones that it's not safe to back up. That's a great system. I love it. And what's great about the Bliss system on this uh, Super Duty is it's also going to include your trailer. So it does have trailer monitoring for your blind spot of your trailer too. So it extends it back for your trailer. So I love that system and how that works. So again, some great technology features that are, are really valuable that are going to be standard equipment on all your limited. Now as we move around to the side, we always like to start with the wheels. The standard wheel on your F250 and F350 single rear wheels is going to be a 20 inch polished aluminum wheel. So it's a unique design, only available on your limited. Also it's going to come with that chrome center ornaments and your painted hub down there. So real nice looking wheel for those single rear wheels. Now your F350 dualies are going to have a different wheel. It's a 17 inch forged polished aluminum wheel. So a real nice looking wheel uh, for that one. Uh, and then also your dualies for your F450 will get a 19 and a half inch forged polish aluminum wheel. So a great looking wheel for those dualies as well. Now keep in mind on the dualies, the inside wheel will still be steel. Uh, so that'll be steel. Uh, it will not be painted uh, like, the front, like the outside wheels will be. Now let's talk about here on the side, this uh, nice vent cover here. It is going to be a satin chrome finish on those with a limited uh, etched in there so you know that's a limited and your F250, F350 and F450 will be chrome lettering and numbering over here on the side. You're going to have your power stroke label on the side on all these of course only standard or only available with the 6.7 so it'll all have that badging on the side of the door and then some some great features with the mirror is a power scope trailer tow mirror which means electronically it'll power scope out as well as power fold in and it will power fold towards the glass. So some great uh, features that are going to be included within that. Also it does have a body color mirror cap. It's going to have a power glass in there and then the lower part for that trailer tow so you can adjust that manually uh, to be, if you want to for backing up those trailers. Also here you're going to have your LED turn signal indicator on the outside and LED spotlights. So there's a button, uh, one for each of the mirrors, the left and the right. Turn that button on and it's going to go ahead and cast an LED spotlight to the side of the vehicle. And let's not forget about the security approach lamp. LED security approach lamp. They're high intensity security approach lamp that's gonna light up the ground uh, real nicely on the side of it because there's a little bit more dis uh, distance there. It is a more high intensity LED light so you can be able to see easily as you're approaching the vehicle at night. Now let's talk about that. This does have intelligent access that allows you to be able to, uh, to unlock and lock the vehicle without having to get the keys out of your pocket. So you just walk up, put your hands in the door handle, it's going to automatically unlock the vehicle and, and give you access inside the vehicle. So that is a great standard feature on your limited. You lock it just by pressing the knob here on the door, uh, locks that up. I think both the front doors will have that uh, and it locks the vehicle up for you. Also does have keypad here in the pillar, so if you want to leave the keys inside or access the vehicle without the keys, you can still do that uh, setting up your own personal code ahead of time. And on the remote too, you can have remote start. So even on this diesel, you can remote start the vehicle using this too. And I'll, find, I'll show you another way you can remote start the vehicle uh, as part of this uh, just by using your, uh, your phone there. So I think you all appreciate that. Uh, your door handles is going to be a satin chrome finish with a body color to surround that. You're going to have a chrome belt line molding, goes across there, looks real sharp on the vehicle too. Uh, you are just going to get power deployable running boards. So uh, what's great about those running boards, and they are chrome accent, satin chrome on the side of it, so it's going to look real sharp on the vehicle when you, when you have the vehicle, the door shut. But when you open the doors, it kicks them down a little bit lower than your running boards, and it also protects the top of those running boards from getting that sand, dirt, snow, and things like that on the running board. So I think you'll appreciate uh, that uh, when you're, when you're uh, getting, especially in the winter time. So again, they would deploy down and kick back up. And uh, I don't know if you can see the LED security approach lamp, but it's going to light that up right there for you too. So I love those features. Also here on the, the windows, it does have privacy glass, it's standard equipment, it's a dark tinted glass on these back windows as well as the back glass. And don't forget that back glass will also get uh, rear defrost and power sliding rear window back there. Now as we move to the back, you're going to see a unique tailgate applique back here. It has a satin chrome finish back here with the chrome limited lettering uh, in there as well. So it just makes that limited pop through that satin chrome finish. Super Duty underneath there. Back here you're going to see the body colored bumpers as well, just like the front ones up there. Uh, chrome applique on the tailgate right here. And then you're going to have your rear view camera with reverse sensing standard equipment. So as you're backing up, you're going to get alerted if you get too close to anything. And actually right now is a probably a good time to kind of talk about uh, the uh, backup lighting or, the, or your camera system. This one actually comes standard with your ultimate trailer tow package. 
uh, the camera system. So that's a really nice, it's usually optional, all of your others, standard equipment on your limited. So let me tell you how that works. It is gonna have a camera back here on the back of the tailgate. Also, there's a camera underneath each of your exterior mirrors. There's a camera on the front of the vehicle and the grill, as well as an extra camera right up there on your high mounted tail light. So that's really nice. It's, uh, those uh, high mounted stop light up there will also get the LED lights in them. Uh, we're gonna talk about that a little bit more uh, in just a little bit. But what's great about that is you're gonna be able to back up that, that truck into any kind of trailer you might have. So if you have a fifth wheel or you have a gooseneck, it's gonna be easy for you to back up using that camera on the back of the cab up to that, as well as use the 360 degree cameras. And what's great about that is it uses those 360 degree cameras to help back up your trailer. So you can use an extra button that you just kind of flip over there and you can you can move that camera out so you can see more to the side of the, of the truck and the trailer as you're backing that up into those different spots. So that comes in real handy, especially if you have, you have that fifth wheel trailer, uh, maybe a, a, a camper or something. It's gonna make it a lot easier backing that up in those campsites. So I think you'll really love this Ultimate Trailer Tow Camera System and how that works. So you're gonna have that as part of this. Now let's talk about the tow package. All your Super Duties go, do come standard equipment with your tow package. Now the size of the receiver hitch is gonna depend on what your configuration is. So all your F-250s, as well as your F-350 single rear wheel short beds are going to come with a two and a half inch receiver hitch receiver or hitch receiver back here. All of your F-250s with the heavy duty trailer tow package, your F-350 single rear wheels with the long bed, and all your F-350 duallys and F-450s will come with that three inch. And you're seeing that this has a heavy duty trailer tow package, so you're going to see it has the bigger receiver hitch back there, so it's going to be that three inch because it can handle a lot more weight. So it's going to have the bigger receiver hitch back there. So that's going to be standard equipment. Now let's talk about this tailgate here for a second. They're going to lock up with the vehicle. So you're going to, of course, unlock and lock it using that. But there also is a remote tailgate release on your limited. So you just press it twice and it's going to lower the tailgate down for you. So that's a really nice feature to have as well. Tailgate step, standard equipment on your limiteds as well. So everything is in at the top of the tailgate, makes it really easy. Press the, the square in the middle and you can bring that step out and the step is all ready to go. You don't have to fold it out like the older versions. And then you're gonna see the handle started to come with it because it's brand new and it kind of sticks uh, to this. Uh, there is a little stopper right there. So you just pull this out, let it click twice, and then take it up until it clicks, and then you're ready to go. So you get in and out. So it's real nice and easy. Follow the numbers to, to take that the handle down. You just press the one and lower it, press the two, and it's gonna unlock it so you can uh, push it in. Real nice and easy to get the step out as well as put it away. So I think you'll appreciate that. Here in the bed, it will have the box link system as standard equipment. That is gonna be the plates that you see on the side of the bed. There are two on each side. You can put the lockable cleats that come with it into those spots, being able to have some much more, more flexibility. Standard equipment, when you watch that optional equipment video, we talk about some loading ramps that you can put in there and you can put the straps on there so it locks it in place so nobody can steal your loading ramps or anything you might have in the back there. So that is uh, something that's standard equipment uh, on, actually it's XLT and above, I believe. Also the LED uh, box lighting back here. What's great about it, there's a button back here. You just press that button. It's going to put two LED lights here. It's going to light up the bed as well as it changes the high mounted stop light up there to LED lights up there. So you can be able to cast and really light up the back of the bed, make it a little bit easier to load that bed up. So, uh, or different things into the bed. So that's some great equipment. You'll see this particular vehicle does have the fifth wheel prep package. That's covered in our, ult, uh, our optional equipment video. The, the fifth wheel prep package is optional equipment on all your limiteds. Now moving to the interior, this has a gorgeous interior I think you're going to love. It has leather trim uh, through most of the vehicle uh, and just a great look to it as well. Uh, just You're going to feel like you're in really a luxury. Uh, it's so much better than the Platinum uh, when you're inside here. You just got to take a look at it. So uh, we'll, I'll give you a clip across the dash. You can see that. You're going to see unique inserts in the doors. Uh, also leather wrapped in the upper part of those doors as well as on the armrest of the doors too. You're gonna see the nice stitching, uh, kind of a, the light tan stitching with that dark brown uh, on the above the instrument cluster as well as above your glove box. And then I love the applique above the glove box too. That Super Duty right there is a special material right there. I like you'll like. You'll see that around your vents as well too. So great look to the interior of, of the vehicle. The leather seating surface in here as well is unique to the Limited. So there is a Camelback Limited Luxury two-tone seats so a dark brown with the light brown has the quilted bolsters as well uh, just a real sharp looking leather seat with the white stitching 
or actually it's a light tan and matches with the inserts in here with the limited badging on those backrests. So great looking, even the back seats. If you look back there, uh, you know, it does have the 60-40 split bench seat, but those two outside seats are going to get the limited badging on those backrests. You don't see that in a lot of other vehicles. Usually it's just the front seats. Also get heated seats on those two outside seats as well. So great look to it. You do have underneath those seats, to talk about that for a second, a kind of a storage compartment in there where you can store some things in there. And then you can also fold those down and have a flat low level in there as well. So you're gonna have that capability underneath that seat there. And then behind the console, you're gonna have not only vents for your climate control, but you're also gonna have the heated seat controls as well as you're gonna have the 110 outlet back there too. And I believe even a power point. So you get one of each. So uh, plenty of ways to connect devices and a couple cup holders for those. Uh, seats right there and you have an armrest that comes uh, down at the middle backrest too so some great flexibility even there in the back seat and lots of leg room back there now here in the door you're going to have your power windows locks mirror switches including auto one touch for those front windows it's also going to have driver memory for three different drivers and i'm going to go into that a little bit more into that in just a little bit i'm um, we'll talk about a couple other features are included within that driver memory now also below the headlight switch you're going to see the power adjustable pedals it's going to bring those pedals forward and back electronically also you're going to have a power tilt and telescoping steering wheel that'll go up and down forward and back electronically as well. Now, the power tilt and telescoping steering wheel, the pedals, the mirror, and the seats are going to be included within your driver memory. So it's going to memorize the features and where those are located as part of that, as well as the easy entry and exit seat, which means uh, you'll see right now the seat's kind of back a little ways and the steering wheel is up. And it does that when you shut the vehicle off. So when you turn the vehicle on, uh, based on the last driver that drove the vehicle, it's going to move that seat into position and the steering wheel down into position as well. So I love the easy and entry and how that works, making, again, easier to get in and out of the vehicle. So uh, talk uh, briefly before I go on. I really forgot about this feature until just now and talking about the driver memory and such. This, the front seats up here do have multi-contoured seats with the active motion, which means they have the massaging seat feature in those. So the seat cushion as well as the seat back, you can adjust and have them massaging. Uh, you can choose one or the other or both, uh, however you want to do that. You control that through the settings. Uh, you can activate it with your lumbar and it pulls up on the screen as soon as you hit your lumbar over here. And then you can adjust your lumbar in several spots, I think five different places on the back. Uh, and then it activates your uh, massaging where you can click over and control your massaging seat feature too. So you'll really love those with the heated seats. It's going to come in real handy, which let's talk about that. Uh, the two seats up here are dual power seats that have heated and cooled uh, seats in them. So uh, again, in the summertime and the wintertime, both it's going to come in real handy for you and very comfortable that way. Now let's talk about the uh, steering wheel here. It's a leather wrap steering wheel. It is the same leather. It's a camelback leather uh, wrap steering wheel with the same stitching on it like you're seeing on the dash uh, and on these seats. Also heated steering wheel to go along with that. So uh, all these luxury features that are standard equipment on this Limited. Uh, also around those controls you're going to see it has the same finish as your vent covers as well as above the glove box. Just love the feel of that. Uh, here on the left side of the steering wheel is going to see your cruise control and you can see those arrows for your adaptive cruise control to uh, change that gap there. On the right side of the steering wheel, on the bottom, you're going to see your Bluetooth controls. You can make and receive phone calls, connect your phone via Bluetooth. Above that, you're going to see some audio controls, so volume as well as uh, presettings for your radio. Uh, you can control right there as well. And then on the left side, there's a D-pad up here that is going to control your 8-inch productivity screen. So lots of things. You have your gauges, uh, your fuel economy. Also you have a your trailer con connecting uh, screen in there as well as an off-road configuration. So uh, it's great having that. A big 8-inch screen right there in the middle to control all those uh, different things. That's also where you're going to see those settings we talked about earlier for all the different technologies that you can activate and deactivate as well as some of the different extra settings for those. You can e actually even deactivate the easy and entry exit seat if you want to through there. So I think you'll uh, find that of some, some good use there. Also here you're going to have your push button start. So again when you get in the vehicle you don't have to get the keys out to start it either. So you'll have that push button start. And you don't always see that on your diesel engines. Uh, it is going to be right there. Also you're going to have your 4x4 shift on the fly. Also integrated trailer brake controller down here. And this will have trailer sway control as well with hill descent mode uh, or assist uh, to go along with this uh, vehicle as well. For your climate, you have a dual zone auto climate control, so the driver and front passenger are going to have two different temperatures, and there's your buttons there for your heated and cooled seats as well right there. 
for your audio controls. A B&O audio sound system, that Banks and Olufsen uh, audio sound system with 10 speakers with a subwoofer, so great audio sound, uh, AM FM player, uh, it's gonna, I believe even has, the, it does have Sirius XM satellite radio uh, that goes along with that. Nice eight inch touchscreen as well. It's that, it does have that Sync 3 system, that's that third generation voice enhanced recognition system where you can make and receive phone calls. You can uh, also click there for your climate, uh, your uh, phone, everything right through there, and the navigation. Voice activated navigation system is standard equipment on your limited as well uh, with the pinch and zoom capabilities. And then when you put that vehicle in reverse, we've already seen that camera earlier with that ultimate trailer tow camera system of where that's going to show up is on that full 8 inch screen there so you can see it real nice and easy. So there are some controls up here above uh, for that, uh, your lane keeping uh, system, we can activate and deactivate it there in your camera right there. So if you have the vehicle in drive, you can hit the camera button and it's going to show the front camera as well as your 360 degree camera and then you can keep hitting that button and it'll adjust those different camera views and you can do it on the screen as well right there. And so some real nice controls up there. Also, you're going to see on the right over here, you're going to see is a 110 outlet and a power point. Just like you're seeing behind the consoles, you're going to have two of each of those in the vehicle right there. Up here in the mirror, auto dimming rear view mirror as well. So it's going to automatically dim that mirror. If those cars want to come up behind you with those bright lights, they're not going to blind you. You don't have to worry about that. Automatically does it for you. Up here on the visor, you're going to have see garage openers for three different garage doors. So there's that un universal garage door opener, that home link system, as you might say. So you can control gates. Anything with transmitters can be programmed through those three buttons right there. This overhead console, some nice features with it as well. You're going to have upfitter switches. They're standard equipment on your limited. So you're going to have those. You can control different LED lights if you want to set them up, different other things you can uh, program into these uh, switches right here. You're also going to see a little sunglass holder that flips down for you. So you can put those sunglasses in there if you want to. Nice and easy to get to. And then you're going to see your switches up here for your power sliding rear window. Also for the twin panel moonroof. It's standard equipment with the power sunshade. So you can open that up and when you first hit that button it'll stop halfway and then if you want if those in the back want to be able to enjoy it as well you can hit that button again and it'll slide on back and then hit the power moonroof and it's going to open up this first glass and slide it back. So a lot of people love this twin panel moonroof. Standard equipment on your limited. So I think you'll uh, find that some value. Uh, now here I want to talk about the media hub. I love the wood grain finish on the media hub. You can slide that forward and there's a spot where you can put your cell phone in there or smaller items. Also two smart USB ports so you can charge those smartphones. Uh, so for did forget to mention on this it does have the uh, Android Auto and the Apple CarPlay uh, as uh, part of this feature and the Apple phones will need to be plugged in uh, to those uh, to be able to get those iPhones to work using the Apple CarPlay in there and that's how you would do that uh, right through that media hub there. Also uh, this does have come standard equipment with the Ford Pass Connect. Used to call the Sync Connect in the past. Uh, for 2019, they're calling it the Ford, Can Ford Pass because you have to download the Ford, pa Ford Pass app. And it allows you to, with that app, to stay connected to your vehicle using that. So you can, um, what's real nice about it is you can unlock and lock your vehicle from anywhere. You can remote start the vehicle from anywhere using that app. And you can even schedule remote start times uh, every day and even locate your vehicle using the embedded modem that's in the vehicle. So you're going to have that. Also get you uh, Wi-Fi hotspots up to 10 de devices if you sign up with the unlimited plan uh, through AT&T for $20 a month. You're going to have that access as well. So uh, if you, especially if you drive a lot out of town uh, in the vehicle, that can be a, a pretty good value for you as well. So uh, and don't forget the cup holders down here. This does have the open. You'll have the shifter up here. So you're going to have two cup holders. But I did realize if you can slide this over, it creates almost four cup holders for you if you want to do that. So uh, that's going to be a part of that. You're also going to see the limited badging on your console cover. I didn't mention that. It is leather wrapped up here with the white with the stitching, the light tan stitching with the limited badging on there. It has your serial number or your VIN number on there. Also has the number that this one, this one happens to be 333. So if you're someone that likes numbers and likes the same number, this might be a great vehicle for you to get. Uh, and it's a gorgeous exterior color as well. So you'll like that. Open up this console. You can see this one actually does have a console vault, uh, so you can program that in, uh, get in and out of the vehicle uh, in, into the console that way. This is actually an optional equipment. Uh, first vehicle that I've actually seen in stock with a console vault, uh, but you will be able to have the full open console in there. Uh, it does have, a, I believe, another PowerPoint in there too, and a big open space to be able to store some things in. So uh, I think you'll you'll like uh, that, uh, the console vault. Uh, um, so 
anyway so that has that that as well and so great equipment uh doesn't illuminate a door seal plate with a limited badging in there i always forget to talk about that carpeted mats or carpeted flooring in here with the carpeted mats for the footwells up here as well as the mat that goes across the back back there so again lots of standard equipment i believe i covered everything in this very thorough video uh, so i think you'll really like this vehicle uh, gorgeous interior that i think you'll really appreciate so that's all your standard equipment on the 2019 Ford Super Duty Limited. Now the warranties on the, all these uh, vehicles are going to be a three-year, 36,000-mile bumper-to-bumper warranty with a five-year, 60,000-mile powertrain warranty and a 100,000-mile diesel warranty. And then don't forget your roadside assistance is five years, 60,000 miles to go along with the powertrain warranty. So, so great warranties on these. Uh, check out our website, lawnmacarthur.com. They're in each one of our vehicles. So you can check for availability, schedule a test drive. You can see pictures and a 360 degree walk around. It's a VR experience and inside as well as an outside perspective on each one of our vehicles. Uh, if you see something there uh, that uh, piques your interest, uh, reach out to us. We do have chat service available on our website 24 seven during business hours. It's gonna be one of our coordinators that knows that works here at the dealership after hours. We do have a service that kind of help, especially if you're needing help navigating the website, they can help you out with that. So um, please reach out to us. You can call or send us a text message at 785-378 5031 or you can call us toll free 1-800-874-6316 so hopefully you enjoyed this video again if you're looking for the optional equipment i did mention a couple throughout this video but you can see a full optional equipment uh, that is available those uh, different uh, tow packages camper packages and some of those different packages in our optional video again i'll have it linked down below if you're watching this on youtube or if you want to watch the video at the bottom of our video library page under the 2019 Super Duty, you're going to find it there as well on our website. So uh, again, hopefully you really enjoyed this video, got a lot out of it. If you have any questions, reach out to me. Uh, that's what we're here for. And uh, so really, uh, I hope you got something out of this video and it helps you in your research for your next 2019 Ford Super Duty. I have a special YouTube offer just for you. If you watch this video on YouTube, reach out to us. Let us know you watch this video on YouTube and we'll give you free shipping on any one of our vehicles to your door. If you live within the 48 states and you finance a vehicle with us here at Long MacArthur. So it is very transparent. Uh, we do require you to finance because we do get a little bit of a kickback from the lenders. It doesn't anything that comes out of your pocket. Uh, but if you know, most pe people that buy this type of vehicle are going to finance it even for a, just a little bit. Uh, so if you do finance it with us, we'll to give you free shipping right to your door. So it's a great way to get a great vehicle from a dealership that knows their product uh, delivered right to your door. So a, a great way to, to purchase a vehicle in this day and age. So I think you'll really like that uh, feature. So take advantage of that. Uh, don't forget you can reach out to us. Uh, call us toll free 1-800-874-6316. Again, check out our website, lawmacarthur.com. You can see our full inventory there. There's something there that uh, maybe you're wanting something that we don't have. Uh, we can work with other dealerships and get those vehicles in and deliver them to you uh, again at no cost. And check out our internet pricing because you're going to see some great pricing there. Uh, that's a lot lower than you're going to get. So it's not M MSRP. We discount about all of our vehicles, most of them close to invoice. So I definitely check that out and getting a great deal on a great truck from a great dealership. So again, thanks for watching this video. If this is the first time watching one of our videos on YouTube, hit that red subscribe button down there. That way you can get subscribed to our YouTube channel. And if you want to be notified every time we have a video upload, hit that notification bell as well. That's how you're going to be able to get notified when we have a new video uploaded to our channel uh, via your uh, phone. So that's a great way to be updated on that. Also, if, uh, if you did like this video, I ask please give it a thumbs up, smash that like button, let other people know it's a great video, it really helps out the channel, and I'd really appreciate it. So uh, go ahead and do that. If you have any questions or comments, put them down in the, the uh, comment box as well. I re read all those, respond to all those. So if you have any questions or something I missed, put them down there, I'll reply to that. And uh, if it's something, uh, an equipment or something that I missed, I will actually highlight that so other people know that as well. Uh, and it, it kind of pops to the top. So I, I wanna make sure that this is a very informed video that will help everybody out. So uh, help, help, go ahead and do that. Also, uh, if you wanna instead, just reach out to me by social media. I'm at Tim Bartz on Facebook and Twitter. A uh, great way to kind of reach out to me. I, I have a passion for the Ford and Lincoln product. Uh, I've been at the Ford dealerships for over 17 years. Love the Ford product lineup and I'm very knowledgeable on the Ford lineup and very passionate about it too. So if you have any questions, even if you purchase something and you just have some questions on your current vehicle, uh, I'm here to help uh, just to go ahead and reach out to me and I can get those answers for you. Uh, and uh, just, uh, I just love helping everybody out. Even if you don't purchase a vehicle from me, just reach out to me. I'm, that's what I'm here for. I love helping other people out and that's why I created these videos 
on our YouTube channel. So again, thanks for watching this video. Hope you take advantage of the free shipping. And until the next video, we'll see you later.